starts, we're looking at the ceiling. This is the tapestry and, you know, four sets of Christmas lights I've put up in there, which is equivalent to like 200 watt bulbs. So, well, I'm taking a video right now. I'm giving you a, you know, a documentary sort of. And be in mind, right now, we have some transition issues going through right now. We've got some cabinet drawer stored behind the kitchen and the table itself is out of cardboard rather than plate glass and some of the interior finishings like some mirrors aren't wall mounted and this is sort of a look at the kitchen um, probably gonna have to figure out how to vent that stove more effectively but now we're turning around there's the reading space and the fire and the door and the window with the seating space on the window so maybe a look from above this is how you enter it's a little confusing looking at this video I'm holding it with one hand and uh, docking on the other so bear with me but I'll, I'll give you a, a view of the the tent upstairs. That view looks kind of odd actually, but maybe I'll crawl up and show you. I'll unzip the tent really quick and show you. So every, instead of making the bed, we just roll the covers back and put the pillows in the back. So if you want to like lounge, if you want to like crawl up in the bed and not like get under the covers or lay on top of the covers, it's just kind of like a long laying couch up there. And it's also good because, you know, you keep track of your laundry, you're like, damn, I need to change these sheets or not. So, just a good hygienic way to keep your bed, I think. Plus, then the covers can get really cold when you heat up the space. It's kind of nice if the shack is too hot and you can pull these cool blankets over you and you're like, oh, that's nice. So. It's got its interesting little quirks to it, but yeah, I got the video. Ah, oh, dude, I'm up to two minutes now. It's too long, right? Yeah, that's true. So yeah, I showed you the tent up there, wall clock. This is a interesting little detail I've made here. It's coat rack entrance, then the ship's ladder that goes up, and then this long horizontal mirror that's sort of cantilevered off the wall and the cantilever is supported by the ship's ladder and then also a piece of tr uh, it's framed not to a mirror no the mirror is separately structured um, so I put a two treated piece of 2 by 4 on the wall structural member and then I attach the mirror to it. So I popped the mirror like four, four inches off the wall, which kind of created a little four inch uh, under space. And then, yeah, exactly. That's where I put the coat rack because I put a shelf actually under the mirror, which sticks out another four inches. So under the shelf is eight inches back and a coat rack. So it, it uh, effectively sort of transports the coats into the wall instead of the coats sticking off the wall now they kind of like slip into the wall it's it's better yeah and it's a, a nice horizontal mirror that you can get up close and look at your eyes and face and like you know it's kind of like a bathroom mirror almost you just kind of look up to it and that's where we keep our toothbrushes honestly um, so here's a video of the meditation space upstairs you come up through the trap door and it's a little bit of a mess because I haven't been up here lately, but we've got a couple bottles and beaver skin and the tarp. Uh, there's a Christmas light that I could turn on, but it's uh, dotted LED, nice warm orange light that goes in that light rope. This is really more for you to hear in the video when I show you, but there's the little meditative shelf up there where you have some fake candles and I have a smoke alarm to a stall up up in that top corner 
It looks nice. And uh, when we get that plastic off, you're gonna have some good views looking out of there. So yeah, that's the meditation space. And now I'll finally show you the, well, I guess I can kind of show you the stove too. I got this Venetian blind set up and it's like a great um, thermal barrier actually, because the metal conducts really well. And this is hard to do with one hand. Go. Stove is just like it used to be, only there's the windows behind, so you get a nice lighting experience in here. Got the floor register down there. I hope you can see that. I can't really see the screen. And uh, then I flashed out the door, put the hardware on the inside, so that on the outside you don't have any latch hardware. You come inside, unlatch the door, and then you go out and soak the stove. And come back inside and close up the hardware. It's a better way to do it because then nobody can walk up and just open the side of your door and be like, hey dude, what are you doing? You know, it's secure. It's secure. <clears throat> Cause you want to be able to have security. If you don't want someone coming in, you can lock the door and be like, hey, no coming in, sorry. You know, so there's the stove. I'll, uh, Close the Venetian blinds for you because it experienced. It's interesting. What? Dude, exactly. The only thing we're missing is high definition rich sound. The acoustics are great in this place because it doesn't have any echoes and it's nice and intimate. And So, yeah, I showed uh, the Venetian blinds going down and then closing them. What? Mm, yeah, not bad, dude. I wall mounted my iPad uh, in the bunk. Uh, MK, dude. People were so jealous. They were like, what the fuck? You have a wall mounted flat screen. God damn it. I'm like, all I did was put my iPad on a couple screws, dude. So, this is the reading space. I'll walk into it. It's seven minutes long. Hope I can send this video. You stand, get into it, throw your feet up, chill in, look through the mirror. Um, I have not 100% finished this thing out yet. There's a couple little details to make it perform a little bit better, but all in all, I think it's a pretty successful little spot. There's the train car. And here's the view you get when you look out. So this is looking into the mirror. Uh, it doesn't really work, actually. But, yeah, you can kind of see that's the shed roof going out. And, uh, yeah, kitchen right now is a little tight because the cardboard is longer than uh, the board itself. But it's a long, nice galley kitchen, twice as big as the interior. So, that's good. But uh, that's the end of the tour, so I'll send you that.